Hey guys, Ben here. Um, previously, we modeled this um, adaptive charts family, and today I'm going to show you how to schedule all the framing. So, first edit this family, and tab and select this part, and then edit family. So, we need to uh, remodel these framing. So in order to uh, schedule them with a with a length, so delete this, delete, delete, and also delete this uh, profile. Okay, so now we need to create a new uh, family, new family, generic model adaptive. And then um, create two points, select them, and make adaptive spline, reference spline. So now we may um, place a point, draw on face, one, two, and draw on work plan, and draw a, for example, it's a, 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 a we just draw circle profile. So uh, one here and one here. So change the tick the uh, reference line, and then I'll just uh, do a diameter. Oh, over there. It's okay. And then. If you want to the dimension come here, you just set the work plan here and then dimension it. So select them. Now I I need to create a shear parameter. So uh, I can place the parameter in the shear, uh, schedule. So here shear parameter and uh, Select. So if if you don't have a setting there, so um, here, let's edit. So normally, if you don't have a parameter text, you just create one. But now uh, uh, I have a parameter here, so I can just so and also you can create different groups. So for example, I will create a new group. So today's date for example is this group now I'll create in under this group I'll create new parameters so let's call it a uh, diameter uh, let's correct okay and uh, okay and then select this group Select this diameter and uh, uh, instance or type. Uh, I'll choose. I'll leave it type type for now. And uh, I'll change them to 100 for now. So then, oh, can't see the point. The point where the point. This point. Place it at zero, and uh, this one place it at one, and then select the profile, and this one, and this line create a form. So now this will be the framing. Then I'll also need to. Um, create a, a length share parameter. So let me temporary hide, set work plan, and uh, di. Pick the point. Pick the point. So this will be the distance between these two points. So 
go down my dial where these points are so it will always get the length of this uh, reference line so and then select this one this uh, reference line select this oh sorry select this dimension go create a new share parameter so and then select edit new parameter so this one I'll call it um, call it uh, uh, frame length okay and okay and then okay frame length this one will be a reporting parameter because yeah and okay so now the chart and then I need to load this into this family so this is family 15 load into 15 and then I need to place it on these points so um, SE SE tab 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 okay so let's try yep works so good now um now we can load this family into uh, which one? Into this one. This is thirteen. So load this one into third family thirteen. Yep. So let's try to select this individual framing, and then see if we can change it. So one fifty. good so now I think that's that's it so what's this oh that's a project so let's load this one into the project all right Okay, so let's try to um, see if we can adjust. So you can tap and uh, select the individual one, then edit type. So then you can adjust adjust uh, the diameter. Is there a difference? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. See that's yep. Yeah. Good. Okay. So now let's create a schedule. So because this is a um generic model so go schedule G generic model okay then uh, we need to create share parameter select the diameter and okay and another one share parameter Select this one and OK. And also, uh, we 
probably need some like a uh, mark maybe or description or yeah count maybe let's try this so here is the generic model schedule so if we go back WT if click on this number so in the 3D view it will tell you which one it is so and also you can do some sorting so something like this and tell you um, like 1.5 meter length that's 24 of them okay so that's it for today um, if you have any questions just let me know and uh, I'll see you next time